What's going on everybody, Average Arcader here, and it's time for us to check out another base mod. In this one, uh, it's called, what is this one called? <laughs> secret Bookshelf Base. I knew it was Bookshelf, but I, I forgot it was Secret Bookshelf. Uh, I'm really liking these ones. This is another one from Razzleberries. Uh, same people who did the secret painting one. I like them because it gives you this whole little village on top of it too. That you now there's no uh, villagers in this one, but I'm pretty sure you can probably get some. But all these houses are functional houses. They've got beds. They've got crafting. They've got anvils. They've got uh, food, cooking stations. They got everything in these. But we'll explore the rest of the house later. So farm ready to go. Let's go ahead and get into the secret base. I love these entrances because if, if the person doesn't know about this, people aren't gonna figure this out. I mean, look at that, that's, that's epic. Now, granted, this is a bookshelf that you would never find anywhere else in Minecraft, but still, this is pretty cool. And you can even shut it when you're in there. I love that. I love these little things, these functional. And this is definitely a functional base 100 percent okay you've got plenty of storage you've got a little armory here with startup armor already you've got leather you've got iron good to go places to store it this nice little area here where you can set up where you want to sleep boom there's three beds there so basically you can have three people in here actually you can have more because there's beds up in the houses above too so you can have a lot of people here this is cool farm already ready to go you got two of is the yeah you got two of each of the land edible ones that you can eat so for food or if you're trying to for the cows and the sheep if you're trying to farm for wool or leather, boom, right there. Some more storage, tons of storage, which if you build big things like I do, you're gonna need it. So here you have a, basically a tree farm. You can cut them down, plant the uh, saplings, and then they'll regrow. So boom, good there. Good source of leaves, stuff like that. Head on down. I love how the floors are kind of set up in all these different ways to kind of give it this nice multi-level feel. Everything's spread out. I kind of like these type of maps. Farm area, ready to go. This is definitely one of those maps you pick up, you go. There's nothing really you need to add except for like one thing, which is easily solved. Now this, at first I was confused what this was until I saw that symbol. This is so that you can fish in the safety of your house without having to worry about going out at night and doing it out there. So you can literally fish 24 seven. I also like to think that technically too, you could start a mine out of this area too. I mean, I would, so that I have a mine in here too. It's easy, I mean, you just go off to the side there and just mine down from one of these and leave this area alone and now be interested to a mine boom you're good to go okay at first now i seen this before and i thought it was just a pig spawner for a pig farm it's really an xp farm because you have that there you can kill them and over and over and over again giving you food and xp then you can cook the food and that gives you more so that's pretty cool that that's right there set up ready to go so you're never going to have a lack of food and or um experience while playing this and this is basically the smithing area man they've got a ton of furnaces in here a ton of them i like how they have wall to wall regular furnaces which are still good i, I use tons of them anyway but then only one blast furnace. <laughs> It, it, it does its job. It, it gets it done. Hey, I'm not I'm not really complaining. Everything's here. Hey, you got everything you need to get going, okay? So I'm not really complaining. I'm just saying a little joke. This that's awesome. 
Now, the only thing you don't have here is Lampus, of course, so that you can't enchant right away because you would need to go get more Lampus, which I'm okay with that. Uh, like I said, you can make a little base right out there uh, on that area where you can fish. Go out there, start a mine there. You're good to go. Now, a lot of these areas are having these firing ranges. And I think they're cool, but the cool thing about this one is it actually comes with arrows and a bow. So you can shoot them, and I tried it, you can shoot them, open this up, and you can go pick up your arrows so you don't lose them, which is pretty cool. But that's about it for the interior. As you can see, it's not too elaborate, but it's just complex enough to be very interesting and it's got everything ready to go. Only thing it's missing is a nether portal, but I mean, you can build one of those yourself. You don't need anybody, you know, you don't need to have one here to do that. You can build your own anywhere. I'm okay with not having a nether portal. That's not always necessary. And sometimes they're actually more so a liability than anything because things can come out of them. So it's okay for them not to have it. You can go up top and build your own and call it a day. All right, so let's go up there so we can take a look at the surrounding area. I love it, I love that. Let me close it like nothing's there. And you've got you've got anvils and everything in these on these other things. All right, surrounding area is actually looking pretty good. There are a ton of desert villages all over here and temples. I found at least five temples, desert temples, in the surrounding area. I mean, you, all you have to do is just go out and just start exploring all the different areas close in this little circle perimeter, and you will find them, okay? They're not going to be too hard to find, and they're not too far away. The thing is, this village here, I'm going to go out and say I think they might have built some of this themselves. Like, I haven't seen one spawn quite like this. I think some of this is them. They made this a little bit built up these villages because this is an insane amount of desert villages they're all over the place which is cool i mean there's other villages too you've got you've got some uh mesa ones a bunch of the savannah ones as you can see too so i like that i like having a lot of villages around i just think it's cool to have them especially on a survival playthrough because man it's tons of food and tons of equipment tons of trading that's ready to go right off the back and like i said the landscape's not too bad like i said it's a lot of desert but you've got a lot of things mixed in between and i love everyone knows i love those hills i love those hills i love building things on them i love how they're always like kind of making like a horseshoe shape so I just build lots of things in there, especially my favorite thing, which is a village or a medieval kingdom. Those are my favorite things to build. I need to start building more of those. I've been so occupied with videos lately. Okie dokie, guys. This is an actually really fun map that I'm going to say is definitely worth it. It's got good seed and it's got tons tons of stuff to do i love base mods that are actually worth it they give you everything you need so all you got to do if you're playing a survival playthrough start it up and you're good to go maybe have to collect or build one or two things but i feel like it should have all the crafting stuff ready to go which it does in this one it has the crafting ready to go it has the farming ready to go it has the food ready to go all you got to do is just get in there and start building to your leisure i love that in a uh, map that uh, is created for you that's worth it for sure okay guys well thank you once again for joining me i really appreciate everything and all the support i've been getting if you guys like the video please like share and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button also stay tuned for other let's play series that we're coming out we just started a new one on obsidian's latest game grounded it's like a little mini um uh, honey I shrunk the kids video game where you're shrunken in the backyard and you have to fight off bugs and build a base it's really fun I got a nice let's play going on that so don't forget to check that out but until next time I'm Average Arcader have a nice day